Welcome to tooltutorial.com, blur, sharpen and smudge. These are three more editing tools, in which we don't apply paint on image, but they affects the colors which are already present in image. You will find them in a single cell in toolbar, you can see the last used icon and to see others just click and hold that icon. Blur. By name you can understand about its working. It will blur the area where you move this tool. It can be used to repair the wrinkles or soften the desired areas in image. You can also use it when you have little noisy image, it will blend the noise but it can be used only to a limit. It can also be used to give photographic effect, like shallow depth of field, or in common language blur background. Let us see an example of it. Here in this image you can see wrinkles on her face, I just select blur tool and move my brush on wrinkles and get smooth skin. Don't use blur tool on areas like nose lips and eyes to prevent the depth of pick. In option bar you will find brush preset picker which is explained in brush tutorial. You can pick brush from presets adjust their size and hardness from there. Another option is strength, it is used to define the intensity or power of tool. Sharpen. Another tool from this group is sharpen tool. Sometimes we have little blurry image or area, in that image which we want to be sharpen, at that time we need this tool to give some sharpness tool. But it has its limit over use will damage your pick. Although you always have undo to go back. In this image you can see it is little blurry, a pic can be checked with its eye, and if you notice her eyes, they are not properly in focus. So in these minor issues you can use sharpen tool. Here I use sharpen tool on her eye, nose, lips and ears. These are some focus points which create depth in the image. Here is a tip. For this tool that it will be not much successful with mobile or low light captures as it will come up with red blue green pixels all over the area where you apply it. Smudge. This is last tool of this group and this tutorial. But I must say it is very useful and interesting tool. It can be listed in retouching and editing tools and again widely used in digital painting. It can be used for mixing up two colors or shades, or you can use it repair some image part with mixing it up with nearby pixels. Its working is like a simple brush. It flow the pixels in a direction where you drag it. In option bar you can see strength option, high in number means more power and effect of smudge tool. Use it, be familiar with this particular tool, it will surely help you in many situations. We end up with this tutorial, hopefully you got help with this. For more tutorials visit www.tooltutorial.com.